And how's it going guys, Joshua Lufemi here, and I'm actually really excited to announce the biggest After Effects update in a very long while. This has actually gotten me pretty excited. I know it's gonna be a massive game changer, and I know that it's gonna transform the way that we think about compositing from here on out. I'm talking about the new Roto Brush 2 tool, in After Effects. But first, of course, we're gonna talk about Envato Elements. If you're watching this video, you're probably a video editor and Envato Elements is a video editor's dream. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning. They also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it. I use Elements literally in some regard every day. Now, I'd pretty much given up on Rotor Brush when it comes to masking out projects out from a background. It was simply too inaccurate, required too much adjusting, and just took way more time than just simply doing things the old-fashioned way, aka masking objects manually and then keyframing the mask path. Rotor Brush 2 utilizes Adobe's new Sensei machine learning technology to create masks faster and more accurately than ever before. It's currently just available on After Effects Beta, which is available Available by just clicking onto Adobe Creative Cloud, clicking on the Beta Apps button, and then installing Adobe After Effects Beta. I'm assuming that Rotor Brush 2 will be available in normal After Effects after the next update. It's funny, my bro Don Jazzy over in Lagos just sent me some iPhone footage recently for me to play around with. I basically just wanted to create something cool that he could then post on the TikTok, and it required me to have to cut him out of the background. Unfortunately, this happened a couple of weeks ago and Rotor Brush 2 didn't even exist yet. So I of course tried using the original Rotor Brush tool and the result was absolutely horrible. The iPhone footage was just so low res and noisy that it was simply impossible for the original Rotor Brush to track the edges accurately. I ended up still getting the project done by just masking him out the manual way. And yes, it took a really long time. So guys, we're gonna revisit that same noisy and low res iPhone footage and we're gonna see how well Rotor Brush 2 does. First, import your footage into After Effects. Now remember, as of July 5th, 2020, I'm still having to use After Effects Beta. Then click on the Rotor Brush tool. Then double click on your footage in the composition window to activate your layer window. Then once you're inside the layer window, begin drawing inside the area that you'd like to cut out. Make sure that the mask edges matches perfectly with the edges of the object that you're trying to cut out. As you draw, you should see a green marking. If you make a mistake, you can just cut back on that mask by holding Alt down, and this will result in a red marking when you draw. It's really important that you nail the mask on this first frame perfectly because the automated masking of all the frames beyond are based on the accuracy of the mask on this first frame. Over in the controls panel, make sure that you are using version two of Roto Brush. I have the quality on best, I'm leaving the search results on the default 30, and I'm leaving everything else in the default settings for now. I'll come back and potentially adjust the feather and shift edge at the very end. Okay, so it's time to press page up or page down to move from frame to frame to see how well this mask is holding to the edge of Don Jazzy. And wow, guys, this is unprecedented. Somehow the Roto Brush is now smart enough to continuously find the edge regardless of the noisiness and low res nature of the iPhone footage. So guys, if you haven't used the past Roto Brush tool, you probably don't understand how big of a deal this is. If this works this well on iPhone footage, think how well it's gonna work on normal DSLR footage or better yet, red footage. Wow. All right, when you are done, just click the freeze button. This will lock in the animated Roto Brush mask. All right, now we're gonna go back to the controls and I'll adjust the feather a tad. Then we're gonna go back to my composition window and see how it looks. Wow, amazing. Guys, this is gonna help us on so many different levels in the creative community. My bro Nick was just commenting about how easier it's gonna to be to make memes now that you're able to cut things out so easily. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I actually have two additional videos that you've got to watch. And remember to get your free month of Envato Elements by clicking the link below in the description. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.